We're back chasing some walleyes. It's uh, it's gonna be a blast. I've heard they're getting a few out here. Um, it's it's a pretty fun bite. There's a lot of different sizes of these fish. The majority are these ones that were stocked about three years ago that are sitting at like, I don't know, 12 to 15 inches. And then you get some of those, those 20s. And then if we're really lucky, we'll end up with those uh, 26 to... 28s you know there, there there is some really nice ones in here that uh that have been caught and i did hear a rumor of one that went over 31 that came out of here like a week or two ago uh before this lake opened up um everything warmed up here and uh all the lakes pretty much lost all their ice um we we uh, we gained some the last uh, couple nights here. Um, I think this lake, I uh, I checked and there was sitting at like I don't know, four. You know, it, it's it's enough to fish, but I you be dang careful about all of it. Um, the it, the ice varies, especially on this lake. The opposite side on the opposite side, there's maybe only two two and a half inches over there um i did see a guy sneak out on that but i i guess i'm not i'm not that guy so um or at least i'm not that guy right now put it that way um i don't advise anyone anyone to go try that but uh we are back on the ice and we're gonna be chasing small eyes There we go. Oh. Alright. Little guy. There's a lot of these little ones in here. You gotta sort through them. Got another little guy. Go bro. There he is. I think that's a little better one. Finally. <laughs> Got a decent one. Jesus. That took a minute. Let me turn the lights up a little bit here. Well, there we go. There's a nice little 15 incher. Finally, took a long time coming to get him. I, I most, most, most definitely would eat him, um, but I'm kind of sitting within two or three of my possession limit at uh, at college at the moment, so I don't really, um, I don't really feel like cleaning, and I already got enough fish to eat. But, but what a healthy fish, really. That, that little guy is just sitting down there munching on everything, and there's a ton of these in here. So, 
but nice little eater. There. Even get the light on him for you guys. A uh, little better angle. Alright guys, got another nice little eater. That one measured dang near 16. That's a nice little fish. Oh, he uh, he came in just a minute ago and they, he munched right away there. Aggressive. Um, I've caught every single one that's come in. They're just I don't know. They're just really not rolling through this area quite like uh, quite like they were before, but. We'll take it, that's for sure. Ooh, shit. Yep, yep, yep. Nice one. Yes. Oh yeah. That'll work. Big dog. We got a decent one. The other ones were like 16. Here's about a, I don't know, that's a 21 ish. That's a nice fish right there. Nice eye. What a beast. Not the biggest one we've caught in here, but that is a decent fish. And probably, probably gonna be the biggest for the night. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There he goes. That a girl. Sometimes those fish just take a minute, and it, you feel a little bit bad for them, but. They uh, they come right out of it, especially in this nice shallow water that we got going on here. This one. Come on, don't come off. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Woo! 
There we go. This is a nice one, baby. That is a nice one, baby. Look at that. Look at that. That is decent. Cannot complain about that. Heck yeah. Alright guys, got another one. Nice little eye. This is like a 20, 22 ish. Um, yeah, nice fish. Absolutely healthy. Um, yeah, everything about this fish is awesome. So, alright, back to it. Big girl going back. Come on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, she'll go. Gone. Nice little 16, 17 there. Absolute beauty. Holy mackerel! We got a crappie. Hmm. No wonder. I thought that was weird. Big ol' crap. Can't complain about that. Huh. <clears throat> Might even get the tape out for that one as long as we got her. That one will measure right at about 12 if I had everything all on the ground. It's not a bad looking fish, but he made me work for it. Um, he didn't really want to eat super bad, but he came back like two, three times, so, well. <clears throat> there you go. All right, guys, well, we uh we we had an alright week of fishing. It was um it was kinda tough at times. Uh these last two days have kinda kicked kicked me around a little bit. Uh I did really great the first night I went out. Um caught the majority of fish in this video. Probably I don't know, seven or eight. And then I think for the last two nights, I think I caught like probably six combined, and uh, most of them aren't even in, in this video. So the majority of everything, it was just all in one night here, and uh, <coughs> it's 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 still a great bite. I think the majority of my issue is 
the snow makes things horrible just to see the ice conditions as well as pulling the sled is just I mean it, it it's not impossible it's just it takes an hour to get to anywhere that I was fishing previous to this amount of snow being on the ice um, the other thing that it does is the ice conditions are just not real safe. I watched, uh, I watched a guy take a four-wheeler, like a full-size four-wheeler, out on ice that was like one throw of a spud bar and you're straight through. I... But he just drove a full-sized four-wheeler out there. That's all there is. There's one fucking spud. I don't know how he didn't fall in. He took two kids out with him. I, I honest to God, was just praying for their safety because I don't know how they made it back. I see their truck is gone, so hopefully they did make it. But holy bonkers, unless you have five, six inches of ice stay off the ice with your machines and even then be really really careful because you can go through really easy especially right now especially right now because there was three inches where i was fishing but just because there's three inches consistently doesn't mean there isn't spots there's two however uh other than a little little ice safety that i'm I'm concerned about with these guys up here. Here, it, it's been awesome fishing, really. Um, back home, I saw my dad. Uh, my dad actually got a really nice, nice fish down on a on a local lake. Lake, uh, we'll just call it the Madawan Gravel Pit. But uh, <laughs> the the majority of people have a good idea where I'm talking. Um, but I'll I'll show it right now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, it's been a blast getting to learn how to use cameras and stuff. I apologize for the videos being a little dark, but it, it's all you can do. And I, I uh, hope hope you got something out of this uh, video. So thank you guys for watching.